Welcome to Idea Lab. Today we are going to be speaking with a former CEO of both Pepsi and Apple. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Kimberly. So what are some of the foundational skills that people tend not to get trained in or not to be aware of when they start off to become an entrepreneur? This is the best time ever to build a billion dollar business because the access to technologies that can uh, help you build an entirely better experience to solve a problem mm -hmm. in a better way, uh, to come up with disruptive pricing on how you deliver that product or service had never been better. Uh, at the same time, everything is commoditizing. And so the real differentiator for a builder is to understand the domains and how you connect one domain to another. As, a, as an example, at exactly the time that uh, Steve Jobs was creating the iPhone, Kodak was doubling down on silver halide, that's film, right. uh, to be able to compete more effectively with Walmart because Walmart uh, was doing well with single-use cameras and Kodak wanted to improve their cost structure with vertical integration. Well, Steve Jobs saw the domain of consumer electronics components coming down and so it wasn't Kodak who reinvented photography even though they had very talented chemists. It was Apple that reinvented photography and two years later Kodak filed for bankruptcy. The point there is not who's smarter or who's not. The point is domain expertise, and entrepreneurs need to be able to connect okay. the dots between one domain and another domain, another domain, and to be able to adapt that, and that's why I call it being an adaptive innovator. Because if you go back to Darwin, a lot of what he talked about for the uh, advancement of species was their ability to adapt to the changing environment. And so if you are a creative person, you have curiosity, you're able to adapt, you think about uh, big problems in different ways. You don't have to be the engineer yourself, but you have to be able to assemble a team of A players. And so how do you attract those people? Well, part of it is you attract them by having a really big, juicy idea that people yeah. can get excited about. So how do you train yourself to be able to do this? Because no one can be an expert in everything, right? So how do you train yourself to be able to do this and to put these disparate things together? Uh, Alan Kay, who was an Apple fellow, uh, had a wonderful saying. He said, point of view is worth 80 IQ points, meaning that you've got to see things in multiple ways. That's why when I was writing Moonshot and doing the video series, uh, I said it's so important that you have on your team uh, experts from different domains because they're seeing the problem that you're trying to solve from the perspective of that domain. So you did a series of interviews with entrepreneurs, right, video interviews. So I'm curious, in the course of these interviews, what surprised you? Well, what surprised me was uh, how open even the most successful entrepreneurs, uh, how they said, look, you know, we screwed up. So, I mean, I'm talking about people like Mehmet Oz and Wolfgang mm. Puck and, you know, very recognizable uh, names, but they became uh, incredibly revealing about that. And then I went out to young entrepreneurs. I mean, many of the entrepreneurs are building companies right now and they're in their 20s and 30s uh, and lessons they're learning. Uh, it's about, um, you know, all the different things you have to know in order to build a transformative business. Are there commonalities in how they handled those mistakes that jumped out at you? Entrepreneurs never give up. They are incredibly persistent. They b believe in things that nobody else believes in. and what you find is that the ones that are most disruptive are prepared to say, I will spend a lot of my life you know, doing what I'm doing because I believe in it. So if they don't believe in it, how do they get the people around them to believe in it? But one of the things that uh, I was thinking a lot about was that I've lectured at business schools for many years, very talented students, great faculty, but they focus on teaching these talented people how to become great managers of mostly incumbent organizations. And I noticed that a large number of the entrepreneurs I work with, they never went to business school. And I started to think about it and I said, in sports, you get to prepare, you get coaches, you have a system where you can move up from farm teams, but there aren't a lot of options for entrepreneurs. So I decided I wanted to put together a learning series. It's a video learning series plus a book called Moonshot which would help prepare entrepreneurs for the kind of things you do when you build a business, not manage a business, but actually build it. And this is building billion dollar transformative businesses.